Hello everybody and welcome to my WX78 guide. So today we'll be looking at his perks, his weaknesses, strategies that you can use with him and all of the above. So without further ado, let's go check out WX78. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Go leave me a like down below if you like this guide and subscribe. So let's begin. Like I said, we're going to be looking at WX78. So now WX78 is the Solus Automaton. So he is a robot, as we can see on the left side portrait. His health is at 150, his hunger is at 150, insanity at 150, but do not be fooled. He can upgrade himself with his gears. So we'll be looking at his abilities later on in the perks and quirks. I just want to get off by saying here that he can upgrade with his gear, that's his best perk. And that his worst perk is the rain, but as you can see, the rain can be easily like negated, so you're not gonna have much trouble with it. So let's go check out what do I mean by upgrading with gears. So f with the gears, so you need 15 gears to completely upgrade WX78. So as we can see here, I have 15 gears. Now every time you eat a gear, it will upgrade the limit that you have for your stats. So as you can see, I'm at 177. I eat an hour when I'm at 180. And so it will upgrade your stats every time you eat a gear. And as you can see, I have my max stats now. And so you can upgrade your st you upgrade your stats all the way to a maximum of 400 health, 300 sanity, and 200 hunger. And every time you do eat a gear, it will give you also um, a certain amount of numbers of like health, hunger, and sanity to just a boost. So let's say I was low on sanity, I would eat a gear, and it will give me some sanity back. I would also eat a gear, it would give me some hunger and health back. Now, if you guys want more information about that, I'll leave a link down in the in the in the description down below for the, the wiki of Don't Starve. So if you guys go check out the statistics yourself. But yeah, so in general, you can upgrade with 15 gears and you'll get all your stats uh, boosted up and you need 15 to completely upgrade yourself after 15 you will no longer upgrade and so it's now no longer useful you can no longer upgrade yourself more than that and this is what makes wx a really uh, potent character is that he's able to upgrade sorry the lighting <laughs> he is able to upgrade and uh, become more and more powerful over time early on he might be a little weak but the more you upgrade him the more you'll see his full potential and power Another perk with WX78 is that he's not a picky eater. So this makes it so that WX78 can eat stale and spoiled food without the negative effects. So when his hunger, when is the food that he eats for his hunger is yellow or red, it will not do any negative effects on him. So this can be a very strong trait. So let's check this out. Now, for WX78's food situation, when you eat a, a green cat, let's say that's uh, yellow or red, that's so it's spoiled or rotten completely, well, you will not gain any negative effects. Now, the green cat is a little special. You will still lose sanity, of course, because it's a green cat, and monster meat, the same thing. But let's say you eat a rotten berry on the ground or a, a rotten uh, seed. So let's say the seed was rotten. If I would eat it, I would gain no negative effects. So it's completely the con like the um, on the other side to Wicker Bottom. Wicker Bottom, when you eat rotten food, she hates it. But WX it does not mind them at all. But do not forget that does not count for uh, for monster meat. So be very careful because if you do if you eat monster meat with WX in it, you will be damaged and you will lose health. Now, like I was mentioning, his downside is that when it rains on him, he takes damage. Now, this is easily negated with a eye umbrella uh, with the eye of the deer fox uh, what else uh, the rain in general it's gonna do damage but if you have some nice food waiting at your base because of your warly teammate or be or if you just have like dragon fruit pies or pierogies they're gonna be perfectly fine and if it really heavy rains just get yourself a straw hat with a uh, umbrella and you and it will negate pretty much all the rain that you're gonna receive and the umbrella, make sure that it's a pig skin one. Uh, the uh, flower umbrella, it's not really that good and it's not really worth your time. So just get a nice good one. So that's for the uh, water. So WX78 is actually losing help from the rain, like I just explained. Now, um, I also explained that if you have an umbrella, umbrellas are super great. 
for absorbing the rain because you won't have actually any rain so you won't take any damage so this is a very important item to have as wx78 other item that you can have like i said is if you grab a straw hat and also if you grab a umbrella the umbrella the normal one as you can see here you put the both of them together as you can see you gain no water so this is the cheapest way to like gain no water uh, water log for WX78 so that you don't lose any health. And if you do, like I said, you can just regain your health very quickly with a uh, homemade item that you have. And so, yes, you be very careful with the rain. Um, it's not too bad, but you still gotta keep your eye on it because you will be losing health. And the more it rains, the more you lose your health fast. Uh, and the last perk that WX78 has is that he's charged by lightning. So if you want to use you can use a multiple of ways to get him charge it up, but but when he hits hit by lightning, he will be uh, in power mode. He will be overpowered with energy, and he'll be boosted. When WX is hit with lightning, as you can see right here, he will write system overload, and his little squeaking noise will begin. Around him, you will see a a bright circle that will keep you safe from the dark. What does this overload mode mean? Well, WX will be able to run a lot, a lot faster. And if you do it with a cane or any other like a uh, abilities to make you run faster, like a road or a uh, magic luminescence, you will run a lot faster with it. And so this like WX78 is one of the most fast, is the fastest character in Don't Start Together. Now, as you can see, though, every time we get hit by lightning, we lose sanity. So be careful. You will lose sanity every time you get hit by lightning. So if you do the Wickerbottom trick where Wickerbottom reads a book to make the lightning rain from the skies, well be careful because you will be at zero sanity after a while. Now this mode is one of the most powerful things about WX78 except there's also his ability with the gaining his stats up, but that's just a core mechanic. This is really a great thing for exploring, it's a great thing for kiting. It's just a very great thing in general. So that's why XWX78 is one of the best characters in the game because of this ability. And with his ability to get a system overload with Wickerbottom books, he goes really well with the character of Wickerbottom. Another thing to check with WX78 is his favorite food. So here we can see it's marked a butter muffin. So if you make a butter muffin with butterfly wings, you'll get extra hunger from it to help XWX78's hunger. And so you can try to focus on that. It's pretty easy getting butterflies. You just need to go have a lot of a big flower field and go whack some butterflies and you'll get some nice butterfly wings to make those butter muffins. So it's a pretty easy food to get and it will help a lot his hunger. So that will be all for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the guide. I tried to put some more effort in the video and I'll try to be making more videos. Sorry, I've been a little busy, a lot of schoolwork to be done. But I, I hope you guys understand. So I hope you guys have a fun Don't Starve adventure. And I'll see you guys in the next guide. Bye-bye.